Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with our next AutoCAD video. Now, in this video, I will be showing you how you draw this camera right here in isometric in AutoCAD. Now for drawing this camera, we are going to start with the front of the camera. And the measurement for the front of the camera are 160. So this line right here is 100 and this line is 60. So this is 60 because from here to here is 50 and then this distance is 10. So with the measurement for that bigger uh, rectangle, we can start drawing the camera. So now when you're in Auto AutoCAD, you're going to want to set your limits on your units. So to set your units, you type units and just click on units or press enter on units. This should be decimal, this is decimal degrees, this precision is zero, changes from 0, 0.0 to zero. This is millimeters, this is international, click OK. Now we're, we're going to want to set our limits. So type limits and press enter or click on limits. The lower left corner is always 0, 0, so press enter. And then change the upper right corner to 500, 500. And press enter. Now, because the camera is in isometric, we're going to need to set up this isometric grid. So right down here, where it says isometric drafting or ISO draft, you click on that, and then you will realize that the lines have changed to 30 degrees, because as we know, isometric drawings are done at a 30 degree angle. So now we can start our drawing. And select a line just uh, L enter or click on line up here click and choose a place to start and then make this line 100 enter all right so now it looks small but when you zoom in you can see the actual size so there it is 100 and then we go up by 50 enter and then 10 and you will see why we go up by 50 and 10 instead of going up by the entire 60 at once all right then we go across by 100, enter, and then click down here, good. So now we are going to need to draw this line right here. So select line, and then click on this point right here. So that's how we did the 50, and then the 10, instead of doing 60 at once. Then just bring that line across, escape our space bar. And then we can trim off the excess. All right, good. Oh, uh, when I drew this line and you saw the green box down here, that's because I had endpoint turn on. So we're over here at object snap. Ensure that you click on the drop down button and turn on end point and midpoint. Also, center, quadrant, intersection, and tangent. Good. So with that now, we are going to need to draw the circle that's on the front of the camera. So to draw that circle now here, we need to find the center of this rectangle. So to find the center of the rectangle, we just need a diagonal line. We could use a diagonal line or we could, we could also use a line from the center here. But let's use a diagonal line. So click on this point here and then click down here. So the center of this line is going to be the center of the circle because the line goes from one end of the rectangle to the next end of the rectangle. So now select circle here or click on the drop down, ensure you have center radius. So click on center radius, click on the circle and right here this triangle will be the midpoint. Oh sorry, it is isometric so we can't use the circle, we have to use an ellipse. So type ellipse E-L-L, -L, press enter. And then right here it says if you want an arc or an isocircle, so type I for isocircle and press enter. Now it says specify the center, the center is right here. Alright, so click in the center right there and then make this radius 25 because the entire circle is 50 so the radius is 25. So there we have our circle. So now we, don't, we, no, need, we no longer need this line so we can just click on it and press delete. And we can trim this line here, so we can trim this line here. So just type TR, press enter, and then enter again. And then click there, and then trim it out. Alright. So now, we need to bring this circle out to make it three-dimensional. So to do that, 
we're going to use the copy tool so we click on copy here or we can type copy and press enter and then we click on the circle press enter then we're going to it says to specify the base point we're going to click on the center of the circle right here if you're not seeing the center just bring it just bring your cursor up here and then the center will appear so just click there and then bring this out we want to bring it up but if you realize it's only going left and right and up and down it's not coming out so to do that to change that we can uh, come down here we can come down here and change this from isoplane left to isoplane right and then now it's able to come out I think the shortcut for that is F4 or F5 all right and so now we can bring this out so we're going to bring it out by 20 so type 20 and press enter all right so bring this out type 20 and press enter so now we select a line again and we're going to join the quadrants of each circle so just bring a cursor down here where you see this diamond that says quadrant click on that quadrant bring it to this quadrant over here space bar space bar again to get back the line click on this quadrant bring it over here to this quadrant space bar to get rid of that then we're going to trim up this now so to trim it up tr enter enter all right so let's trim here let's trim here and trim here Right, and trim here as well and also here good and that is the front part of the camera finished so we have the front of the camera next we will be needing the this side now this side is 30 15 plus 15 all right so we know that so let's draw that side of the camera let's select line again click here and type 30 enter bring this line up by 60 or 50 and then 10 and then bring it across oh it's at 50 oh my bad so let me delete this and let me just do this then click here click this line bring this up by 10 enter all right let me just join this here so let me do that again for you I select line, I click here, I bring this up by 50, bring it across, I click here, select line again, click here, bring this across by 30, and then click here, and we have that side. So now we can trim this, TR, enter, enter, and we can trim off that. Alright, so we're good. So we have that side of the camera. Alright, so next we'll be needing everything on the top here but first let's draw the top so that's 15 and then this distance is 100 so let's do that so select line no that's not 15 it's 30 so select line click here draw this out by 30 enter and then join it right here all right so that's the top of the camera all right so now we're going to draw the circle on this side so to draw the circle we're going to have to find the center and it says that the center is the center is 15 away from the edge here and 15 away from the edge here all right so let's do that now because it's in isometric we cannot just offset the line by 15 so we're going to have to do this so just select a line let's change this to isotop since we're working at the top of the circle so click the drop down here and change it to isotop and let's make this draw line here make it 15 and then bring it out here by 15 all right so right here is the center of the circle good so with that center now we can select ellipse so just type ellipse and type i for iso circle i enter click here and the radius of the circle is the diameter is 20 so the radius is 10 so we're working with the radius so we're going to type 10 enter all right and that's our circle so now we're going to use the copy tool to bring it out so select the copy tool 
click on the circle press enter click on the center and then change this to ISO left or right ISO left and then you can bring it up now by we should bring it up by five see so the distance here is five so we're going to bring that up by five so five enter and then now we just select line again and use the quadrants to join the circle so select line click on that quadrant and that quadrant then come over here click on this quadrant to that quadrant i don't think that was a quadrant no, it was not a quadrant all right so click on this quadrant over here to this quadrant down here so now that's done we can trim it up let's delete this line and let's trim up the rest of the circle tr enter enter click here trim out that trim out that and trim here good and that's the button finished so now we are going to do this right here so this distance here is 30 and this goes up by 10 so that information now we can start doing that so I could just come here select line uh, select 30 select line click in this direction and just type 30 no it's not 30 it is let's see how much it is from here to here is 35 so type 35 all right and then now we can bring this out so we have to change that back to iso top bring this out by and this distance is 30 so type 30 enter so now we are right here so we're going to bring this across over this direction by 30 so type 30 because uh, this distance here is 30 bring this back now by 30 all right so right there we have the box to start with so select line click here we have to change this from isotop so left bring it up by it goes up by 10 yeah it goes up by 10 so now 10 enter and then bring that across over there by 30 and then bring it down here sorry bring it to this point here all right good so that's that so now we're going to bring this line across from here so we have to change it from iso left to iso top bring it across this line you can bring it across by any amount but let's just bring it across by the 30 so 30 enter and same thing for over here bring this across by 30 so 30 enter so now down here if you realize that this is a 45 degree angle so we're going to have to draw that as well so I'll come here select line turn off ortho click here and uh, we can just set the angle right here so turn on polar tracking click here and change it to where it says 45 91 35 since what a 45 degree angle so just click there and then we're going to draw this this at a 45 degree angle So this is 45 it will here so that's 45 but the thing with this drawing is that 45 will go all the way here so what we did was we didn't use 45 instead we used 60 because it is at a 30 degree angle in isometric so we could use 45 so we use 60 and that will give us our angle right there that we need all right so now we're going to have to trim it up so tr enter enter click there click here click here click here and it's all trimmed up all right then click here so the line click here bring this across or we'll turn back turn ortho back on bring that across by 30 good all right so now that, that that's across by 30 now that we brought that across by 30 we can just click here and bring this to that point there so now we can trim up this tr enter enter trim here trim here trim here trim here 
trim here. We can't trim those, we have to delete them. So let's click on those and delete them. Alright, good. And that is that part of the camera finish. So now we need this box over here, which is pretty simple. Since the center of the box is 15 from here and 15 from here. No, it's not the center. So if you realize this th this line doesn't point to the center of the box. It points to the edge of the box up at the top. Same for over here. So we have to draw the top of the box first and then we bring it down. So from here to here is 15 and that will be the center of the box up here. All right, so let's do that. So go in AutoCAD, select a line, click here. Oh, we can just use the midpoint since the midpoint is 15. So select the line, use the midpoint here, bring it across. Then select line again, click here, make this line 15, enter, then bring this up here. Good, and when the two lines intersect, that is the edge of our box. So look, where these two lines intersect, this line comes across here and meets this line here. We are at this point right now. So now we are going to draw the box and then bring it down. Alright, so to do that, this is what we do. We bring this line across by 10. So we click here, click here, then move our mouse in this direction and type 10. So type 10. Because it says that the side of the box is 10. Uh, uh, yeah, because this distance is 15, so this distance right here would be 10. So I think that measurement is missing because it did not give us that measurement. But the size of the box is 10. Alright, so 10 and then 10 here, 10 here. And that is the top of our box, so now we can bring this down. We are going to bring it down by 5, because it says we should bring it down by 5. So we are going to bring that down by 5. Alright, so come over here. Alright, so select line. Click here, bring this down, so change it from ISO top to ISO left. Bring it down by 5. Bring it across by 10. Then bring it up to here. Space bar, space bar again. Bring this across by. So now change it back to uh, uh, ISO top. Bring this across by 10. And then bring this up. So change it back to ISO left. And bring it up to right here. And that is our box. So we can trim up everything else that we do not need. So trim here. Trim here, trim here, trim here, and just delete this. Click on that and press delete. And just like that, you have your camera. Alright, so now we are going to do the dimensions for the camera. So we cl click on, we are going to create a dimension layer. So layer properties, click on layer properties, click here to create a new layer. And we are going to make this call this layer dimension all right and then change the color you can choose any color you like I used to like I use I like to use bright colors for dimension let it stay at continuous and it's a brighter yellow all right all right and close now change it from the zero layer to the dimension layer so to dimension this we click on dimension click here click here oh so see that comma right there we have to change that so we have to set up some things in our dimensions so i'm going to click on annotation i am going to go to iso and i'm going to manage dimension styles and i'm going to modify so right here that is set checks arrow fit good 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 primary units change this from 0 0.00 to 0 and change this from comma to period and click OK close that so now we're good so we can do a dimension so I'm going to click here and then click over here but it's not allowing me to because it is currently at ISO top or ISO left I have to change it back to ISO top all right so come here 
select isotope, click here, click here, and and then select dimension. Click this point here. Yeah. So you're doing this dimension from here to here. And then we can bring that out. But for some reason this is not changing. Alright, so let's do this then. Let's go to let's type dim edit on to dim edit the, the dimensions. So I'm going to go to dim edit and I'm going to oh I can't do that. Alright, so let me do this. Dim style. Dim style. Alright, so modify that. P here, that's good. Decimal degrees, symbols, arrows, everything like that. Alright, close. Dimension. Click here. Here. And bring this out by 10. So type 10, enter. But if you realize this is kind of hanging off of the it's kind of hanging half of the drawing like this we don't want it like that we want to we want it to be flush with the drawing so what we're going to do now is we're going to edit our dimension so we're going to let me click it twice and see all right so all right so we're going to edit our dimension so let me type dim edit dim edit and I'm going to click on oblique. So this is the one I want to edit. So after I click on oblique, and let me do that again because I realized I was going a bit fast. So I'm going to type dim edit. I'm going to click on oblique. I'm going to click on this and press enter. And then I want it to line up like this. I want it to go across like that. Let me see how it's dimension here. Yeah, so it's dimension going across. So I'm going to dimension it the same way. So I'm going to click here and then I'm going to I need to change this to uh, wait, let me edit that so dim edit oblique click on this press enter so now I'm going to have to change this to ISO top click here and click here and you see now it straightens out so that's how we're going to go about doing our dimensions all right so then now this dimension here is 10 so click on dimension click here and here oh i have to change it to all right so plane left click here and click on the end point up here that's 10 so we can bring this across by 10 Alright, so type dim edit. Oh, bring it across by 10. So now we're going to edit it. So dim edit. Oblique. Click on it. Press enter. Click here. And then click here. But we have to change it to ISO plane top. Click here and click here. And it straightens out like that. Alright, so that's good. Alright, so yeah, that's how you will go about doing all the other dimensions. So let me do a dimension that you might not be familiar with. So once you can do these um, dimensions, you do these dimensions the same way on all of the other dimensions. So for the circle dimensions, we are going to use what we call a leader. So we're going to click on leader. So I want the arrowhead to go here at the center of the circle. And I'm going to bring it to here to the quadrant and I'm going to type R25. So I'm going to type R25 because the radius is 25. Alright. And click enter. No, not enter, just click outside of the drawing. And it gives you the radius like that. So you can do the same thing for over here. Alright. So that's how you go about doing the dimensions. If I wanted to do the Diameter, I could just click here and then click here and then type 
D20 because the diameter is 20. Alright, but we prefer to use the prefer to use the radius dimensions. Alright, so that is how you go about doing that. And if I wanted to straighten this out as well, I would use the same dim edit. So I go to dim edits. I would click oblique. I would select, click on that and press enter. So let me do that again. Dim edit. Oblique. Click on this dimension. Alright, it doesn't work for these dimensions. Alright, so that's good. Alright, so that's how you go about doing the camera in AutoCAD in isometric.